Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna talk about the Chainlink Cyclone. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. What is the Chainlink Cyclone? Well, if you think about it, we had the Ethereum tsunami and we're still in the midst of the Ethereum tsunami. We also have to pay our respects to Bitcoin because how do tsunamis often start? An earthquake. The Bitcoin earthquake led to the Ethereum tsunami. However, you also have Chainlink, which is sort of off in its own, its own little world. The reason I say that is because it doesn't really tend to obey the rules that the market cycle generally lays out. And how many cryptocurrencies have a valuation of Bitcoin against Bitcoin that look like that or anything close to it? So the Chainlink cyclone, in my opinion, is coming. It, I think it's coming this year. Uh, it could be very soon, could be this summer, could be later in the year. But I, I do think it's coming. I think it's going to take us to a three figure Chainlink. And we know what do we need for the Chainlink cyclone? What do we need? We need a Bitcoin that is no longer in price discovery mode, and we need the entire, you know, we need Bitcoin to be calm. That's what we need. It's as simple as that. That's the recipe. We told you guys what the recipe we needed for, for Ethereum. That's the recipe we need for, for, for Chainlink, is Link likes to move when the market's not moving. So when Ethereum's going crazy, like it is, like you know, like it has been for the last few days, you, Link hasn't really been doing much of anything. Yeah, it's gone up a few dollars, but we're not getting out of bed for a forty, you know, uh, like a forty-four dollar Link or something. So what I would say is, for the Chainlink cyclone to occur, we need time. And I've been arguing all along for for years now that Link is too risky not to hold. Now this chart here shows the link Bitcoin valuation color coded by the risk metric, okay? Color coded by the risk metric. And and by the way, the risk metric is based on price, time, and volatility, the y-axis on a logarithmic scale. What you'll notice is there's key times where you should be taking profits on link back to Bitcoin. There's also times where it should be the reverse and you have to recognize when link is, is very undervalued against Bitcoin. And so simply looking at these charts shows you in the grand scheme of things how undervalued link has been for the last several months. Now, in, against the US dollar, it's been doing great, but we don't care about that, right? Who, who has time? Who has time for, for that right now? You know, we, we want to talk about how do we value things in Bitcoin and then how do we value things with respect to Ethereum? We don't really necessarily want to, you know, pat ourselves on the back for for, you know, it going up against the US dollar, because basically everything known to man is going up against the US dollar right now. So with that said, this is a link Bitcoin valuation. Let's put it on the secondary or the, the risk metric. Let's put the risk metric on the secondary y axis. You'll see there's three key times in the past where link has gone up into the 0.9 to one risk band against Bitcoin. And Every single time, everyone's you know wanting to sing Kumbaya and saying we're just going to keep going up. I told you guys last summer when we went to 170,000 Satoshis and Link was at 20 bucks that we were near the local top. And a lot of people didn't believe me. And what's funny is at that time, the, the people that, that like watching my channel uh, for Link, not all of them, but you know the, the diehard Link Marines, and I love these guys. Uh, and, and at times, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm definitely one of them. Uh, but when you when you sort of change your tune and say, hey, guys, I think we're a little extended, some of them will start to turn on you, because if you if you don't always just say it's going to go up forever, that's not what they want to hear. But what I can say is now the link Bitcoin risk is relatively low. OK, so I'm going to cash in on this opportunity to say, hey, guys, the link Bitcoin risk is relatively low in the grand scheme of things. And so I'm very bullish on on link Bitcoin. Uh, right now. I'm very bullish on, on the valuation of Link against Bitcoin right now. And I'm going to say that now because there will come a day when I'll be bearish again. And some of you guys won't want to hear it, but I'm going to tell you the truth even if you don't want to hear it. So generally with Link, uh, you know, I, I think that it's it's one of those things where, and we talked about it over here, we, you know, we've been continuing to talk about it. It's one of those things in order to see the chain link cyclone, we, we need time. And, and yes, the valuation of Link has, has gone up a little bit over the last few days. But again, this is, this is, it's not worth getting out of bed for. You know, it, it's just a small move. We're nowhere close to the top of this band. It's gonna, even if we were to go to the top of the band, it would take months 
for us to get there. I mean, it's not, these things don't just happen. They don't tend to happen overnight. Um, now, you know, the response to that would be 2017 saying, hold my beer, because you can basically see it did just go straight up. But I would assume that it's not going to go the risk level. I assume it would not go straight up. It would take a little while. Okay, it would take a little while for us to get there. And we've noted before that the two prior bubbles of link against Bitcoin happened in the summer. And let's think about this for a minute. Okay, let's think about this. Okay, Bitcoin's been going up for a while. Ethereum's been going up for a while. Ethereum could, could probably still go up for a while longer. Um, but we also know that Ethereum likes to calm down in the summer okay there's a lot of if you look at the 90-day roi of ethereum buying june july and august the roi tends to be the the worst for for ethereum by the way i'm by worst i mean it on average it tends to be one i don't mean you're typically losing like 90 percent or something on average it tends to be one and so what does that mean well if ethereum's going sideways um in terms of its usd valuation then there's a good chance that bitcoin isn't in price discovery mode or doing anything crazy because if Bitcoin's in price discovery mode, a lot of times it's dragging Ethereum on up, like you know, it's dragging Ethereum up with it. Okay, it's dragging it up with it. Um, so if Ethereum's going to go sideways in the summer, I, I think there's a decent chance that Bitcoin's calm as well at, at least some point in the summer. Remember, we're not in the summer yet, uh, so so let's not get too carried away there. But if that happens, we know that link the link valuation against Bitcoin shines when Bitcoin volatility has reduced and Link likes to steal the spotlight. It doesn't like sharing the spotlight, right? Who can you can you really blame it, right? So it doesn't like sharing the spotlight with any other crypto. Um, and so that's what's holding it back, in my opinion, that Ethereum has been taking the spotlight for a while. By the way, I'm a huge Ethereum bull. I own more Ethereum than Chainlink. That's just the truth. Uh, Chainlink is right, you know, is 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 um is is up there though i mean it's not as high as my ethereum holding but it, it's a pretty sizable amount so i'm pretty bullish on link now you might say well ben if bitcoin corrects let's say bitcoin has a nasty correction to like 40k or something or 30k even let's say bitcoin had like a nasty correction yeah link's gonna bleed against the us dollar during that time period but then it can take off and i mean even if even if bitcoin did have a major correction and let's suppose the link valuation against the us dollar dropped to like say 20 bucks or something um so so what right so what you you, you should look at the link bitcoin valuation i think not the link usd valuation in that scenario and, and then realize that even if Link drops from 40 to 20 on the back of a Bitcoin drop, which we're not even sure is going to happen, but if it did, that doesn't necessarily preclude it from then going up to 100 from that point, as long as Bitcoin volatility has calmed down. Because remember, Link likes to move when Bitcoin doesn't. That's the reason why I hold it. It improves your, it improves your covariance matrix when calculating out your risk-adjusted returns. It's just what it is, right? If you look at the Link USD valuation, look at those three major peaks against the US dollar. One, two, three. Between the 0.8 to 1 wristband, 1, 2, 3. Right now, we are a little bit heated against the US dollar. Uh, and we could come down. And if we do come down, it'll probably be because Bitcoin's capitulating. But if Bitcoin holds the line, then hey, I mean, we could come back up. We could easily come back up. So if you take a step back and look at Link's valuation against the US dollar value based on whether Bitcoin is above or below its 20 week moving average, what do you see? It's the same thing we've been saying all along. When Bitcoin's below it, it tends to go sideways. When Bitcoin's above it, Link tends to go parabolic. Look at this parabolic move. This is like what, 15 cents to a buck 50, um, you know, 40 cents to almost $4. This one was sort of a fake out before the pandemic dump. This one was, you know, uh, $3 up to, I mean, well, I mean, it went up to $20. It had a pullback, but who cares? I mean, look at this. It just, it just kept going up. This, this pullback was inconsequential, right? And this was the point, right, over at 20 bucks. This was the point where I said, hey, guys, against Bitcoin, it's so overvalued. And I went back to Bitcoin. I, and we, had, we even had it on this channel. So if you don't believe me, go back and watch it. We went back to Bitcoin at that point and right in time for Bitcoin to go up. So I think the risk metrics uh, do work out. By the way, if you're curious about the risk metrics, make sure you check out the bull market sale for the premium list in the description below. You can sign up at the lower rate. Make sure you guys lock that in. Definitely check it out. You get access to the weekly reports and videos, the risk levels, the risk dashboard, the Into the Cryptoverse app. If you sign up by Friday, you'll get access to the first Into the Cryptoverse NFT. If you fill out the form, you'll get access to trading view indicators and more. Make sure you guys check it out.
link Bitcoin's valuation based on whether Bitcoin's above or below the 20 week. You can see it doesn't really matter. I mean, it, it sort of just does it. Th it's, it sort of just does its thing. Recently, it may have come off course a little bit, but I would contend that this is the first time Link has truly experienced a Bitcoin bull market because it launched at the end of 2017 and really did not experience a Bitcoin bull market. And we speculated that Link might not be able to keep up with Bitcoin in a Bitcoin bull market, and that was true. My favorite chart, one of my favorite charts on Link. Look at the normalized ROI of Link compared to Bitcoin and compared to Ethereum. It is somewhat cherry picking again because Ethereum dumped here, uh, but I, I'm just going to keep on on keeping it normalized to the to inception. You can see that Link has actually moved above where Ethereum is, and it's not keeping pace with what Bitcoin did, but what Coin can, right? If you normalize it based on inception, what Coin can, and so hey guys, Link is on one hell of a journey. You either you either are on board with the journey or you're not, and I you know there's going to be the drops along the way. I can assure you that when, when Link dropped from $12 to $8 back in December, I got an earful from a number of you saying, oh, you said Link was too risky not to hold. But remember, there's going to be drops. They represent opportunities. Okay, There's going to be drops. If, if I can guarantee you one thing, if I can guarantee you one thing about, about crypto in general, there will be corrections. It's what happens between those corrections that matters. Okay, There will be corrections. There will be corrections. By the way, I mean you can see how how well Link has been keeping up uh, with with Bitcoin and Ethereum. Here it is on a log log scale. Now we're going to switch it over to Trading View. All right, Link. I mean, you know, I I, I meant to make this video earlier. Today it was like forty two dollars. Now it's a forty forty five eighty. So why is it doing well? Bitcoin's moving sideways. Bitcoin's not Bitcoin's not in price discovery. Bitcoin's not flirting with price discovery. Bitcoin's moving sideways. Okay, so uh, I think there's a decent chance here, as long as Bitcoin holds the line, that Link's going to continue to rally. Okay, so we need we need Bitcoin to hold the line. If Bitcoin doesn't hold the line, then you know we're obviously we're obviously going to come back down a little bit. Um, but look, I mean, look at the Link USD valuation. Let's switch it over to the weekly time frame. Um, let's check out our bull market support band currently ranges from 28 dollars uh, basically 28 to 29 dollars that'd be your downside risk in the event of a, of a of a dump we're nowhere near it right now hopefully we'll start putting in something better than rookie numbers on our link bitcoin valuation sometime soon uh the link bitcoin valuation is a little bit more interesting you know we've we fell off our exponential fit band to quote unquote non-bubble data on the link bitcoin valuation but i told you guys about three two or three weeks ago that we had a weekly close above the 20 week sma and that it was time link gets its act back together okay it was time link got its act back together we're above the 20 week sma against bitcoin and i'm hoping we can get back on track to get back to where we were last summer we would need to go to a modest a very modest 170,000 satoshis which would represent another 100 percent move against bitcoin which for an invariant bitcoin would put us at around a hundred dollar link so again to some degree i think link is still playing in the sandbox um, in terms of what I think it's truly capable of. If you look at the Link Ether valuation, this is the only bearish trend right now, I think, against Link, is that against Ethereum, it is still somewhat bearish, but most coins are. If we see this close above the 20-week SMA, which to do so, it would need to come up another 15% eh, or so, then I'm going to be even more bullish, okay? Let me, let me rephrase this. I'm already bullish on Link. I'm bullish on Link against Bitcoin, um, I am bullish on Link against the US dollar, but the risk against the US dollar is higher. Definitely bullish on Link Bitcoin. On Link Ether, I could take it or leave it, right? I'm a huge Ether bull. If Ether wants to continue the show, I'm, I'm on board with that. If Link wants to join the party, I'm on board with that. I think that Link could do even better against the US dollar if it's also above the Link Ether 20 week SMA, because this is the same thing we bounced off of for so long and when Link was very, very bullish. So hopefully Link will get back on track. Hopefully, you know, we'll push hopefully 50, 50 bucks. Maybe we'll go to 75, maybe 100. Remember, these things take time. I would not expect everything to play out in a day or a week or a month. They take time and they take a lot of time. And as we showed before, the major link Bitcoin bubbles have happened in the summer. I mean, at least the last two. So this one happened in August. This one happened in July. And remember, if you look at this on a linear scale, it looks a lot like our textbook bubble that we've talked about before. Okay, a reversion to the mean, 
which we had, and now we're starting to move up. We're now at a modest 85,000 Satoshis. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be following the weather report on the Chainlink Cyclone, cyclone, um, the, the chain link cyclone very, very closely. Uh, so if you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Remember to check out the premium list into the cryptoverse.com. If you wanna pay with crypto, you can do that too. Check out the bull market sale, lock in the lower rate, find that in the description below as well. And I will see you guys there. Thank you guys for tuning in. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.